Hi everyone, uh, PG Ty here. Uh, we're a modern artist and a Filipino uh, precious artist friend. I wanted to um, continue on what we did on the last Sinwali session. Uh, we, we already talked about the basic several types, types of uh, Sinwalis. We talked about uh, a four corners one, right? One, two, three, four, or a cob cob, right? So those are two of the cob cob styles. Um, there's a lot more. We already talked about how we can change the targets of the heights of those. We can make them asymmetric. So we can go high, low, low, high, or high, high, low, high. There's just a lot of things you can do to bounce off. So we already talked about changing targets within a Cinewall that you may know. We covered uh, single Cinewallies, right? High, low, high, low, high, low, or the old style. Um, and the variations there to change the targets. We talked about the advanced single Cinewallie. We talked about double Cinewallies. Whether it's all high, whether it's low, whether you insert things, and we'll talk about that later. Um, they're crossing between two sticks, weaving, and then we talked about the exit all, right? So here, one, two, three, four. It's inherently, inherently asymmetric. So what happens is it only, and it looks the same from that side, or if I lead with the left. One, okay, so if I lead with the right, it looks like forming an X that way. If I leave it to the left, it looks like forming an X that way. It's the exact opposite. So it's inherently asymmetrical. So with those four types and families of Sinawalis, you can change the heights of the targets, you can change the order, you can make them for the uh, Sinawalis that actually don't have a sidedness. You can change what happens on each, the A side or the B side. So this would be the A side, this might be the B side, right? So we talked about all of that. What I wanted to talk about next is some of the other things you can do to your Sinewalis and have fun with them. So the first thing, and I'll just repeat one last reminder from last time, whether or not you do double open guard, single closed, double closed, you can play with that entry at the beginning and ending of each of your Sinewalis. That will change things. Like we already talked about open single, right? Here, 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 here. So open single, it just goes back to the open guard every time where you have closed single or traditional or combination single, right? So you're, you're here, 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 okay? Um, same thing with the double single, right? You've got closed and you've got open, right? So I'll go here, 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 right? Here, so double single is high, low, high, right? So high, low, high. If I do it from open guard, remember, it's high, low, high, right? High, low, high, okay? So you can change the guard, you can change the targets, um, you can do all of that. Now, once that's all really comfortable or you wanna try some new things to explore, you can change what you wanna do with inserting things. The first thing you can think about is, let's see, how do I learn what I'm going on with, what's going on? You can try to do a single stick versus every single every Cinewalli. Whatever Cinewalli you have, you can always do it single stick. You may not have a whole lot of time, but what you do across is just fine. You're just gonna have to play with, uh, <laughs> normally normally what I like to do with that is is have a single, uh, single one stick person single stick and the, double, and the one person's feeding them normal double Cinewalli or normal X Cinewalli or whatever Cinewalli you work on and the single step person just figures it out. Whether it's all force on force obviousness or whether it's, ooh, we're gonna put in different movements, okay? Um, however you wanna do that. So single stick is one variation. Another variation is putting inserts, or sorry, prefixes on the front of your Cinewallis. So let's take double Cinewallis for, uh, for an example. So double Cinewallis, I'm here, right? I'm here, here, here. What can I do before that? I can do a couple things. Um, you can certainly just, hey, I'm gonna put in an extra strike. I go do one more strike, I go around my head, I start over again, right? And I'm there. So it's for all, it's for all hit double center wall. So for all, okay, for all, go around, boom, boom, boom. A lot of times that leaves a hole in your other hand, so what you can do is put in another quick wintick wherever height that you want to. So if we're gonna do that insert of this around my head, before I even start double Sinawali, then what I can do is go around my head, Wittick, 
finish and then do double center welly. So you, this was high, 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 low, high. Okay, and then I could do the same thing on the other side. Other types of inserts or any of your striking styles that would fit, I could do banda y banda, and then double center welly, and I could do that on each side. Um, one of the ones that's fairly easy to add on to anything with a closed single guard like this is just two with tick hits and then do your double center wally. Okay. So if I go high, low, sorry, high, low, high, low, high, high, low, high, low, high, high, low, high, low, high. Now that's double center wally at the back half. The front half is just hit, hit, oh, and get ready to do the center wally. Okay. Um, there's a bunch of other things you could do. You could actually insert an abanico. So I can go up here, I can go abanico, low, okay, and go around the head, high, low, high. So abanico, low, high, low, high. So abanico, low, high, low, high. That would still be a prefix on the front of double sinawali. You've got other things you can do, right? So you can, we already talked about parals, we talked about bandi banda, we talked about the witik hit, okay? You can do multiple counts, you can do add a bunch of those together. I could do bandi e banda, parol, hit, double sinawali, and do that on each side. Now I have a much longer sinawali. All right, um, some of the things you can do then, so that's prefixes. So you add some series of strikes that lets you still do your course in a wallet. Um, and you can still change the targets, all those good things. So if you can put things in the front of your sinawali, you can certainly put things at the end of your sinawali. So that'd be a suffix. So suffixes can be all sorts of different things. But let's say, again, taking double sinawali, so high, low, high. I am right here. Before I hit with this one, I could circle around and hit low and go high, low, high. Okay? Circle around, hit low, high, low, high. Circle around, hit low, high, low, high. So now I've done a suffix. I've got normal double center wally. And as I'm getting ready to hit this guy, I hit low, hit high, low, high. So it's high, so high, low, high, low, high, low, high. Right? So now we've got a four count double center wallet because I put a suffix at the end. And the same rules apply. You can put in uh, striking styles, you can put in um, the same things you can put on the prefix, you can put on the suffix and vice versa because remember this is one continuous loop that you're doing. And so wherever you want to sit an extra strike, you can do whatever you want to do. Right? And then you can just do whatever. So this prefixes and suffixes are very similar it just depends on where you need to get ready for that next strike, okay? So it's almost thinking they're the same thing. If it's easier for you to add things at the end, then you can start with the suffixes. If it's easier to go ahead and say, ooh, what am I doing again? I wanna do a hit, I wanna do an abanico, I wanna do this kind of abanico, I wanna hit high, oh, okay, double center wall. Whatever, whatever you wanna do, figure those out. It's kind of fun to play. You can hit against a tree or whatever you can play. Here's that first one I sewed. High, low, high, low, high, high, low, High. And I'm hitting the body, one, because I don't want to break the arms of my wooden dome, but two, because remember what I said earlier, sinwales are a, a striking uh, series, sort of striking drill. So I want to make sure that I'm hitting the targets, 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 hitting the targets. Hitting the targets, hitting the targets. And whatever I'm going to do, I want to make sure I am inserting things and flowing. All right, so we've talked about prefixes, suffixes, we've talked about open guard single closed guard, even double closed. Um, you can make all those variations in Sinawalis, and if you start doing the math on this, it goes really <laughs> complex really fast. Like I said before, with a double Sinawali, which is just three counts per side, so even if it's just high, 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 if I go high, high, low, high, high, low, then that's one version. So I have eight versions if it's symmetric, I have 64 versions of those three counts if it's just changing the target heights, and I'm making it now asymmetric per side. Um, once you add prefixes and suffixes, then it starts ramping up and you can have a lot of variation. The idea is to push yourself, challenge yourself, push your um, coordination so that you can do things that you didn't know you could do. Or what if it was hard right now, like you're juggling, right? When you first start juggling, it's hard until it becomes easy. Same thing with Sonali. You get to work all these different patterns so that they stop becoming only respons responsive when you think of them as a pattern. You should be able to adapt on the fly, whether you're attacking or whether you're defending and seeing an opportunity to sneak in a hit. All right, so guardedness, 
that's one thing you can play with. You can play with putting things in the front of a Cinewale. Boom, right? You can play with putting things on the back end of a Cinewale. Right? I just put it on the back of the one side there. Uh, and we talked about last time, we talked about making them uh, asymmetrical. So if I do, say, double Cinewale on this side, then I can decide to do single Cinewale on this side. Right? And then I can decide to do X Cinewale on this side. So you just change up the sidedness. So yes, you're playing with your A and B side if you have them, uh, changing what you're gonna do after one round, basically. So you've got inserts, or sorry, you've got prefixes, suffixes, handedness, um, changing from A side to B side, and that can go on uh, more, number of, more number of times. So you can actually an A B side, B side, C side, and D side, and go make it different each time you cross side to side. You can, I like to do that with an odd number, so I like to have three. So maybe I might do double Sunawali, nice and comfortable, right? I might do uh, single Sunawali, like I said, on this side. I might do uh, reverse on this side, right? And then I might do um, what I call Sunawali four. One, two, three, four, and we'll talk about that in a second. So the next thing you can do to play the Sunawalis, which gets to that, what I just did in the last one, is uh, changing the character or inserting. So of the Cinewale, so you can think about this for double Cinewale, if I go high, low, high, if I go high, low, high, and I change the character of the first one, right? So I change the character of the first one, then I'm gonna change it as a through, right? Uh, sorry, <laughs> change, uh, uh, oh, that's right. So I was gonna go to insert, sorry. All right, let's do inserts first. So if I take double Cinewale, that's the pattern. High is one, low is two, three is high again on the other direction, okay? So it's forehand, backhand, backhand. High, low, high. So that's double Cinewale. If I insert something, I can do that pretty fast. If I go here and hit really low really fast, now I've hit an extra hit here and I can hit there. Now what happens if, if you look at yourself as a box, I've hit the high side, the low other one, then I hit the other low and the other high. That's almost the same thing as going high, low, low, high, okay? But I've done it with the sticks, so high, low, low, high. High, low, low, high, high, low, low, high, high, low, low, high, high, low, okay? So high, low, low, high, high, low, low, high, high, low, low, high. So I've changed by inserting. You can insert all sorts of things. If I uh, if I want to insert a kick, I can do that. If I want to insert a punch, I can do that. Anytime there's a hole in Somali or you want to take a little extra time, you can insert something. So that's one of my simplest ones. Insert that down there, pop, pop. Play with that on your own and insert other things. Um, you can change the character. So you might have to change up your Somali. So if this Somali, if I look at double Somali again, high, low, high, Remember the first thing I did on the prefix? I went high, low, and bounce back. So I could do it again. That, if you think about it, is I kind of started doing double Sunawali, and then I changed my mind, okay? And then I went and started over again. I kind of done a, a restart, I changed the character of that second hit. And the first hit, the first hit did not go through, right? The first hit, bounce back. The second hit, bounce back. Both of those on double Sunawali are supposed to go through. And then that comes back. So you can change the character of the moves, you can add moves in the middle, you can add moves in the beginning, you can add moves at the end, you can take away moves. Um, so basically play with all parts of Sinwell and you'll come up with a lot of variations. Double hips are, are fun and easy, so if you can't think of anything else to do, you can go, okay, I'm gonna go high, low, low, high, high. Okay, so in this case, what did I do? I went high, that's normal double Sinwell, low, normal double Sinwell, and then I came through and hit the other side of low. That doesn't change what I'm gonna do next. I'm still gonna hit high. So all I ended up doing is again, making a four count Sinawali before I went up. So you can play with all of that. Um, last, you can combine them, okay? So if, for example, I want to combine a couple Sinawalis. So what I can do, I can say, okay, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna do single Sinawali. If I take single Sinawali and I then combine it, let's say I want to combine it with reverse Sinawali. 
if I go straight here, then I'm in that start over position. So now I have an asymmetric Sinawale by combining single Sinawale with reverse Sinawale. So again, I went single Sinawale, and then I went straight here, reverse Sinawale. And guess what? I can do it again. Single Sinawale, reverse Sinawale. Single Sinawale, reverse Sinawale. So now I have an asymmetric Sinawale. That looks also like doing an A and a B side. Single Sinawale on the A side, and then uh, uh, reverse Sinawale on the B side. Okay? It doesn't always have to be that way. So, for example, let's take, uh, let's do this high-low, high-low, and then go single Sinawale. Okay. Now, instead of drawing across, I'm going to hit low, go around my head. Okay. Now, if I do reverse and Y on this side, guess what? I've now made eight counts until now I repeat. So I can still go high, low, high, low, same stick, hit low, and then go under that stick. One, two, three. So that's called what we call Sinawali eight. It's got a several of these things put together. So what does it got? It's got this high low Wittick, okay, so that is a prefix. It's got single Sinawale, okay. It's got an insert or a suffix, and now I'm adding on another Sinawale. How did that go again? Went high, recoil, low, recoil, okay. Single Sinawale, high, low. Now, put this around your head, get out of the way as you hit low, and do reverse Sinawale. Underneath, low, low. So I'll call out the sticks so you can get that one. That way you've got a few of the principles added together. You've got a prefix, you've got a suffix, you've got an insertion, and you've got the core single center wall. All right, so how do we do this? We go right goes high, okay? Left goes low. Right goes high and then goes low, okay? All right, so then from there, I'm gonna go hit low around my head. So it's two motions at the same time. And then I'm going to go under with my right hand. I'm going to go under my left stick. One, two, three. Okay. So I'll start it from this other side again. All right. Ready? So high, low. Okay. High, low. Okay. Now I'm going to go here and underneath reverse Sinawala. I'll just say the hand in this because sometimes that helps. Uh, I should have gotten another stick. Okay. Ready. So right hand is going to lead with this. Okay. So right hand, left hand, right hand, right hand. Now we're going to go left low and then right, left, right. Now it repeats on the other side. Okay. So we've got high low, high, low, low, and underneath, one, two, three, okay? So high, low, high, low, low, and underneath, one, two, three. High, low, high, low, low, underneath, one, two, three, okay? Or back to what we're talking about. It's the way it ticks, the two way ticks, high and low, wham, bam. And then it's single Sinawali. And then it's this nice thing that we always do, Arnie's pose, right? And then you're gonna go underneath, reverse Sinawali. One, two, three. Okay. So high, low, high, low. Reverse Sinawali, or sorry, Arnie's pose. And then reverse Sinawali. Now on that, before the reverse Sinawali, you can do around the head, you can just go in place. The point is the targeting and the flow. So that's an eight count Sinawali and that's just one side. So I could do that eight count Sinawali and still do sing, double Sinawali on the other side for you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm just gonna go double Sinawali. High, low, high. And then one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
for your basic exploration, we talked about last time, we talked about four different families of Cinewallies, right? We got, talked about the Cobb Cobb family, so it's the same sideness, even if I change targets. Um, we've talked about single Cinewally, so one stick is doing something at a time. Okay, we talked about double Cinewallies, where two sticks are weaving, but you're usually starting from this closed single guard, and it could be all high, right? It could be, it could even be all low, right? Oh, low, so that's double Cinewally low. Okay, high, low, high, right? You can go high, high, low, high, high, low. You can mix it up. High, 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 low, high, high, low, low. Mix it up each time. Uh, and then we talked about then the X Cinewallies, right? So you're doing these two intermeshed single Cinewallies. High, low, so high, high, low, low. High, high, low, low, or high, 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 and you can do the other side. High, 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 high. So, the four families can be mixed with the sidedness, can be mixed with prefixes, suffixes, inserts, and it can be mixed with the guardedness, okay? And so putting it all together, we gave you Sinwali 8 one last time. So we've got high, low, High, low, low into Arnie's pose. Low, low, low was all reverse in a wally. Right, so on this side, high, low, recoil. High, low, single in a wally. Arnie's pose low and reverse in a wally. So high, low, high, low, 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 low. High, low, high, low, 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 low. High, low. High, low, 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 low. High, low, high, low, 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 low. High, low, high, low, same stick. Low on his pose. Low, 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 reverse in a wallet. High, low, alternating sticks, recoil. High, low, same stick. Low on his pose. And low, low, low. Person a while. All right, that's some ideas. We're going to talk about even transformational kind of uh, change ups in Sinawalis on the next one, uh, and that'll give you plenty. And I'll add a Sinawali I put together at the end of that. All right, so play with your Sinawalis, mix them up, make them hard for you, and work the sidedness, work the front of them, work the end of them, insert new things, alter the, the uh, character of strikes. Okay, even if you're on double Sinawali, I might just alter the first character as a abanico and then go low right abanico abanico that's on purpose right i'm doing that on purpose so you have to know what you're doing on purpose you could actually then do an, an insert uh, a, a prefix where you alter the next move so if i do high low high high low high that's my double sinwali if i insert a prefix i change the character and then i do the rest of double sinwali i've now done basically a palantic up here and then the end of double Cinewally, right? Palantic up here, double Cinewally. Okay. All right, have fun, play. Hopefully you got something out of that. The next one is much uh, much more uh, challenging. Some of the transformations we do, we talked about handedness and we change the targets of what one hand can do or we mirror or we inverse. We'll talk about that a lot more next time uh, and then I'll give you my Cinewally. All right, well have fun. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day pretty nice out. Enjoy the stuff. Be safe. Uh, be careful and we'll catch you next time. Thanks.